Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Law Resistance expansion as Portugal. So, last episode, we focused on the conquest of China. That's what we'll be doing in this one as well, obviously. I did want to mention one thing, uh, just or note one thing. Uh, so, I've had several people uh, kind of complain about the pace of the of the series. Um, and most of these were prior to when we invaded China. There were a couple after, though. And I'm, I'm a little bit confused by some of the, you know, the people who are saying, oh, well, you know, we haven't really done much uh, other than, you know, helped in the, the Spanish Civil War. I mean, I, I just don't know what people were expecting with Portugal. Uh, they are the most definitely the weakest country in the game that has its own national focus tree. Uh, some could argue that communist China is, but I would not agree with that. They have very positive modifiers, unlike, you know, at the beginning, unlike Portugal, which has very terrible ones. Uh, and they were also given, you know, a pretty good amount of troops in the beginning to kind of so they can actually do something um but overall i feel like i, I wouldn't agree that that communist china and they have all those decisions to to extend their control uh so i wouldn't agree that they are the weakest i think portugal is very much the weakest uh country in the game that has its own focus tree uh, so it takes a long time to build up and and i would think that people when they came into a portugal series they would expect that uh, and there's not really anything I could have done differently other than we could have conquered Spain. I'm just kind of confused by that because I didn't know what people were expecting uh, from a Portuguese series. They're just so weak. They start out with so so bad modifiers and manpower is low and stuff. And I think we've been doing pretty good. I've been enjoying the series. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because uh, I'm a little bit confused by it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go in and get started. I think uh, we should probably build some troops. Speaking of visions, we have the manpower. We have the equipment. So there's not really any reason not to get more troops. We're going to get one more motorized. Again, we're not having a lot of motorized troops in this campaign. Uh, because, you know, obviously we don't. We're not going to need them in the areas we fight them in. Fight that we're going to be fighting in. But having uh, a couple of them would be useful, I feel. So we're going to get those motorized. Uh, I don't know if they need to have any adjustments done to them. They do, but we don't have any experience for that right now. So we're just going to have to wait. Uh, and then we also need to get some... We'll just get some regular troops here. I don't know if we want... I guess we could use one more of these. Um, although they do use a lot of manpower. That's 6,600. Uh, we might have enough of those, in fact. I don't know. We'll wait to get that. Let's just get a couple more of these guys. Uh, so we'll do, like, two more. And get them going to the training army. All right, awesome. And we're very close to being able to have, like, one full army. Uh, we're almost there, I think, if you don't count the reserves. Yeah, we have, like, 19 divisions, plus this one that's 20. 20 divisions total. All right, so when we left off, I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, okay, they're trying to beat these guys here. Okay, I remember now. We'll see if they actually need to or not, but we'll let them keep going. Uh, these guys are attacking there. Uh, these ones are attacking there. Just making sure we kind of left off with everything looking good. Yeah, I think we're good here. Uh, those guys are going to attack right there. You have to help them out. All right, so everything's good. So one thing we can go ahead and do to try and get war participation is to try and uh, send some bombers. Now, I don't know if our close air support can actually reach here. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, they can reach uh, some of these areas, so we'll let them let them bomb. And then we're also going to go ahead, I think we have like 10 tactical bombers. Uh, oops. So they're just bombers, frankly, because this is an interwar bomber. Uh, so we're going to have them do... We're going to do strategic bombing, just because. We'll do it over here. I, I want to say you get like more bombing points for, for doing strategic bombing. I might be wrong on that one, though. Let's do a little strategic bombing, maybe then we'll switch them over to close air support. Try and get some uh, war participation. Uh, we'll also take a look and see if that changes, or if we need fighters. I don't think we need fighters. I, I don't even know if they even have any planes. Uh, they got a little bit. We could always just throw a couple fighters in, but I don't think they would, uh, the range would be very good. So it's probably irrelevant. Oh, these guys are... Okay, I did miss one. Uh, we have one division here that needs to get moving. Alright. Oh, and then these guys are coming up on to this front, that they should be. Uh, let's go ahead and have them take the railroads up to the top here. So they can start pushing forward up that way. Alright, looks like we finished up here. So they won't have, they won't be able to liberate them, which is good news. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and help out and get these here wiped out. And then we're going to send one of these divisions over here as well. Get on the railroads going over there. We still need to wipe out these divisions here. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go over here first. Then maybe we'll attack from that direction. Are they moving? 
Nah, they're just standing still. Not doing a damn thing. Alright, uh, so overall, this should be done soon. Uh, we've gotten the passive defense upgrade, and we're going to keep on getting these because we need... Well, we have three, so now we can become Spy Master. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to initiate that now. Uh, but if we get five, we can get an additional operative, so we want to keep on getting these. Uh, so let's go and see which uh, one we want to get next. I assume we should probably get the decryption in, uh, department here, the cryptology department, excuse me. Oh, that is eight civilian factories. It's kind of expensive. Maybe we'll wait and uh, instead get something else first. Uh, what we're going to be doing is boosting my ideology soon. So we'll get this one, Psychological Warfare. I think that'd be helpful. So we'll start with that one. And then let's become Spy Master. And that already is going to give us another operative, which will be 30 days away here. All right, awesome. All right, so they're attacking us there. I can't, we can't really see here, but yeah, they're attacking us right there. Uh, and then we have, where's this guy going to go? Let's have him. Yeah, he can go up there. It's fine. I don't care. Uh, then we have these troops here as well. Let's make sure that they're going up onto this front. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. And get all this territory taken. And then we're going to have, we'll just manually control these guys where we want them to go. And him go up there. And go over here. Okay, uh, so let's try and get these troops here wiped out now. Get them finished off. And, uh... We're going to decline this. They're not going to join that conflict. So once we get these guys here, we'll attack there. And uh, maybe we should attack with two divisions. Just get it wrapped up sooner. Because we still got seven divisions there. So I think that's going to end up being problematic. Uh, in fact, let's have these guys go here. See if they can't uh, help us out there. And we'll just actually have them take the railroad on over there. All right. So uh, anything we need to be aware of up here? Well, obviously, we know about that. Uh, and we did get the improved medium batteries. Awesome. Uh, so, is there anything else we needed for our light cruisers? Uh, we could get these, of course, uh, but I think we'll just go ahead and design them with without the airplane catapult. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. Are we researching a tech right now? Because I want to have, like, yeah, we have one going here. Oh, that's right. We're waiting for those. We get that in seven days. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and get the airplane catapult then. But we'll probably just design the light cruiser as soon as we get that uh, that other tech. All right, so are these two here? All right, so let's attack with this one first, and then we'll attack with the other two once they get there. And then we're going to attempt push forward somewhere here. Let's push forward here. Push forward right here. Can we beat him? Uh, it's 14 hours. No, we can't. Let's just attack him then. All right, let's go ahead and go towards that capital. Push forward over here, man. Ah, we'll go that way. And all of this is helping us get that precious, precious war score. And uh, they won there, and he's defending. All right, so once we get here, we're going to have him attack. I mean, this guy needs to wait just a bit. He's kind of weak. Uh, we did win this attack. All right, excellent. And now we're being attacked there, so we have to defend that. And uh, just a few more uh, of the warlords left to defeat at this point. We're about to get that capital there. And let's go ahead and have these guys attack here. Though they probably won't win, well, they will win. That's right, they're cut off. They don't, they don't have any organization either. All right, we got a dockyard. So still waiting on that one last thing to build uh, so we'll just put this into the submarine holes for right now or we could do more convoys yeah let's do more convoys all right we're gonna need the convoys soon uh, and we go and get these guys assigned as well and there we go beautiful okay so uh these guys now push forward here uh we're gonna go ahead and just well we can't go we'll go this way then all right, and then we're going to go ahead and have these guys attack as well. Get them wiped out. Then we'll surround these. Now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, China has capitulated. And that's great news. And it does look like we have a little bit of points to take something, but not enough to get any of these here. Now, one thing everybody asks me to do is just puppet them. We can't even do that. Though, if I'm being honest, I don't know that I'd want to puppet them. 
could take there, but that's the worst province. I think we're just gonna have to pass. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to pass and hope they don't take the stuff I want. Jeez, man. Yeah, we don't have enough points to do anything. You can only take there. Alright, so let's try again. Okay, so we can get one. And anytime we can get one, we're gonna get it, because I don't wanna lose the chance to get it. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and, and I'm not gonna puppet, guys. Um, I prefer directly controlling things. Now, we are going to do some puppets, but the whole reason to come here was for the vampire and the uh, resources. Now, you can trade for their resources if they're a puppet, of course, but that ticks up their autonomy, and that requires you to then either send them equipment, which we not like we have a lot of that, or to build in their area. So then you're using civilian factories to uh, you know, offset it. And, and we saw, I showed it in the Romanian episode because some people were you know, trying to argue that, oh, resources don't tick up. Trading for resources doesn't tick up autonomy much, which is not true. You guys saw in the Romanian series, we had like thousands of autonomy points because we were trading for resources from Russia. And so we had like con consistently build in their land and give them, you know, equipment to be able to keep that autonomy down so that they didn't uh, go free. And that was as Romania, and we had a lot more, and we'd already conquered a lot of stuff, and it was in the previous version of the game, so we had so many factories and, and stuff to, to do that, and even then it was still, it strained us a bit. Uh, this one, we're not going to have that ability. So their autonomy is going to tick up really quick, and they're going to become free. That's what's going to happen, uh, unless we, you know, invest so much in them. So that's why I don't want to do that. The main reason why we're coming here is for resources. Uh, so I don't want to have to trade for them with factories when I can get them for free. Um, but of course, you know, and obviously we do have to garrison it. There are problems with taking it, control of this. We have to garrison it. That requires manpower and equipment. But I think we'll get more manpower from it than we'll end up using on the resistance. Uh, in addition, you know, with the puppeting, you can build troops in their lands, you know, with their manpower. However, there's issues with that as well. First of all, you have to build them here, unless you do that cheat, you know, the little cheat that you do where you switch your division designs over to it once you build here. Uh, that then requires like 20% of the manpower is yours uh, in, in that sense. And, and you're not getting the manpower that you would be getting from here, which you, we know we are already very short of manpower. Or you can build them here, and then you got to ship them all the way over there, which isn't going to be possible if we don't control the seas, which we won't. Uh, so that would require us to use that exploit. Uh, and so I don't, I don't really want to have to do that. And there's other uh, problems as well. When you're using their divisions, uh, you know, they're the ones that are getting the... Uh, you know, getting the uh, war participation, and they don't get war participation because they're a puppet. So basically, it's just you don't, nobody gets it. Uh, you know, we saw that in the Romanian series. Uh, with the Romanian series, you know, we used a lot of Russian divisions, and we eventually had to stop using them because we just weren't getting enough war participation uh, from using their divisions instead of our own. Um, there's just, there's an abundance of, of things to consider when it comes to having puppets. I don't particularly like having puppets. I, I figure I might use them more now because of the re, uh, you know the new resistance and uh, compliance system. I assume I will use them more, but we're not going to use them here. And I just wanted to explain why because I know that some people there are going to be many people to disagree with me on this one uh, that we should you know use a puppet instead. Uh, but I don't want to, so that's why that's the reason why we're not. We'll maybe puppet other countries, but we're not puppeting here. Uh, I work too hard for this man, uh, and I want all of this stuff to myself. Uh, we need it. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter turn. And we might, yeah, we might be able to get a bit more. Um, we don't have any points now, so we're not getting nothing at the pass. I mean, we're getting 14 points for each one. They've got a lot of stuff to take, though. So, and they, they did do some puppeting as well. We'll see what we can get, guys. I don't expect to be able to get much. Much more. Yeah, you can see that they've already uh, taken most of what they can. This is going to be really expensive for them to take. Uh, so that's the reason why they haven't taken more. Uh, so which one do we want? This is eight still. We'll probably get that one. Uh, and then we could try and get that one next. We'll see what we can do, guys. Eventually, they're going to have enough points they're going to be able to get uh, the stuff that they want. Can we get this one? We cannot. Okay. All right, so Japan has taken that. And I would be surprised if we can't get any more. Uh, remember, though, this is very expensive for them. Uh, but that's that's it. Um, it's because they don't, uh, they don't hold it. Uh, you know, we are the ones that were uh, occupying it, so... That's the reason why it was kind of difficult for them to take it. They required a lot more points. But we got two things. I was hoping for three. We got two. Um, it is what it is. Maybe I should have been a little bit more careful when I, who, what land I was conquering, so that we didn't, uh, so that we didn't, you know, force the the surrender of China. We should have uh, focused on advancing into other uh, the warlords' territory, so that the war would have gone a little bit longer. 
I didn't even think about it though until the war was already over, so it's what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and move our troops back over to here now. Uh, our planes, sh nope, they're actually in our territory here, so uh, they got a little bit of experience, but not much. Uh, but we can go ahead and move them back home, I suppose. Just want to move those. And so now we have full control of this territory here, and we can take a look at just how much that's going to be costing us and um, trying to occupy it. Now remember, uh, we, we, we'll be taking up the res the excuse me, uh, ticking up the compliance. I almost said ticking up the resistance. Uh, we have no resistance there. And we are in fact already at 66% compliance. So we're starting at a very good compliance here, uh, which you know gives us some very good bonuses as we've discussed earlier in the series. Uh, so one other thing we can always do too, by taking it ourselves, if we really wanted a puppet, we could do a, a collaboration government, which is far better than any other kind of puppet you can have. Uh, and it does look like this is here. Okay, so what is this one? Okay, that's that one. All right, I, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. This is the one we just took. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why the hell we started at such high compliance. Resistance is at 31.4%, but we're going to be taking that down. We'll be taking compliance down. Uh, stability is higher, so that's all going to be better. Uh, and right now, it is going to require a lot of manpower and equipment, as long as uh, we have the you know compliance and resistance where it's at right now. But that's going to be changing soon. Uh, we'll be slowly taking that down. All right, so that looks pretty good, guys. I'm glad that we got something. I'm happy about it. Uh, and that got us uh, factories and and resources and manpower. Uh, so all good things. Uh, so we'll be sending our troops back home. I don't see any other conquest that we can do anytime soon now. Uh, now, of course, there is Siam. I'm trying to see what's happening here. This is a puppet. Uh, there is Siam that we can conquer. Uh, to bet, you know, we don't have any borders on them, so we're not going to be conquering them. Uh, Siam is available, but they could end up joining the Japanese faction. They probably will join the Japanese faction eventually. We'd have to do it before they did it, before they joined, and it would be close. Uh, we can justify the war goal really quick, uh, 80 days, because we have that, that benefit. It's only 16 political power, too, so it's pretty cheap. So we could do it, uh, but I don't know if we do it in time before the Japanese... Uh, you know, annex them, or, or excuse me, uh, they could annex them, or more than likely, and they would ally them. Uh, I think that's because it's historical focus on, yeah, they would be, a, they'd join their faction. So that could happen at any moment, and so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, but we could always try to do a naval invasion and declare war on them and see if we can't get it done before they join the Japanese faction. Uh, as of right now, they're not aligned. Uh, so it's a possibility, and nobody's guaranteeing them. I suppose we could try it. Uh, we'd have to do an invasion from here. How many troops do they have? Uh, we probably don't even have the intel on that. Let's take a look. One to seven. They do not have very many divisions. We could get a quick win. I'm going to try, guys. I think we're going to try and, and conquer them. Let's get our troops over here, but let's let's go ahead and start doing just fine the war goal. I'm going to see if we can conquer them before, <laughs> before the Japanese do something. Uh, but we're going to need to see what the Japanese are doing, though, uh, to see what their, their current war goal is so that uh, hopefully it does, this doesn't backfire on us, which it could, uh, very well could. Uh, so we're going to want marines over there if we're going to do a naval invasion. Uh, so we're going to go and send these now. Send these on over here. Uh, these guys need to train up, don't they? Alright, so let's go and train them up here. We're going to take these out, put them into the Red Army, and then move them on over to here. Oops, yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to go and set up the naval invasion for... Red Army, now we're not going to be able to bring all of these divisions there. We don't have, uh, we only bring 10. Uh, so let's make sure that we're picking which ones we want. We won't bring our best ones because they'll take, uh, you know, obviously they have the, the combat modifier, but they're going to take casualties and do an naval invasion. So we'll do it this way. And then let's set up the naval invasion where we're going to try and hit their port. And hopefully that's enough troops to, to get the win. Uh, they only have one port, so we got to attack the capital there. Uh, and they might have an upgrade. Nope. Nothing there. All right, so let's make sure hip 10 divisions are assigned to that. And uh, we're going to get that plan. That's going to take us a total of 70 days. So it's actually going to be uh, 10 days before we get the war goal. So I'm going to try it, guys. They're like the last, um, you know, non-aligned state that we can attack here. Uh, so, yeah, if you can see here, yeah, there's not really anybody else. Now, of course, there is the Middle East. But, man, invasions there. First of all, you don't really get much there. Uh, there's there's oil of course uh, so you can get oil uh, but once we uh, fight the allies that's more territory we'd have to defend 
Uh, Iran is probably too tough. Uh, you know, it's not just the number of divisions they have, but their terrain is really challenging to get through with all the mountains and stuff and desert. I think it would be more costly than it would be worth, even for the, the, the lovely oil they have there. And of course, it does allow an invasion of Iraq, though, so uh, there's other options. I think Siam's the best choice, though, here. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go after Siam. Though that would require us to then defend it once we go to war with the Allies, uh, which would be bad because I don't really want to have to defend this. But you know what? They might not be here anymore by then. Japan might have them conquered at that point. Uh, so we'll see how things go, but we're going to do that invasion. Uh, I also want to invade Brazil, but of course we still have the problems of uh, them being uh, guaranteed by the Americans. However, uh, I was thinking, I had suggested in the last video, and I guess we'll let this play now. Uh, I had suggested in the last video of maybe trying to, you know, do something with their ideology, which, when do we get this guy? Uh, maybe switching their ideology up, and then perhaps they would join, like, the common turn instead of uh, uh, the Americans guaranteeing them. Because, yeah, if they're in the common turn, then I don't think the guarantee will, will apply. Uh, but one guy suggested that perhaps we do the coup and then help the side we want to win, win the coup, and then we could attack them and they won't have the guarantee anymore. You know, so we wouldn't do this Brazil, we'd have to do the, the country that that rose up. And that's a pretty smart choice. Uh, that would be one option to perhaps avoid the Americans joining. So I'm thinking about doing it. I, I, don't, I don't know that we'll get those. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we want to uh, to wait or not for those on light cruisers. Probably not. All right, so we want to get the 1940 holes. And let's go ahead and start adding some stuff to them. So we're going to get, oops, and get the light cruiser batteries, get the anti-air, uh, probably get, I want to get the radar here. We don't have that yet. I can't, yeah, I can't believe we haven't got that radar yet. Uh, so we could get the, the sonar here. That's what we'll do. Well, no, that's not what we want to do. We have to have a slot there filled. Get the secondary battery here. It's not a great secondary battery, but we have it. Uh, and then we can go to get the cruiser armor here. And then we get to pick what we want to have up on the top here. Uh, so we're going to make sure that they can at least attack submarines and defend themselves. But that's not going to be their main focus. Uh, we'll give them the ability to attack submarines if need be. All right, guys. So I think this is how our attack cruisers are going to look. So we give them the ability to do the depth charge attack, you know, so they can attack submarines. And the torpedoes. So they have a torpedo attack. Uh, give them a little bit more anti-air. That's frankly, uh, you know, we're going to need it. Um, and, and here's the thing. We're, we're going to be focusing largely on having guns to get that light attack up. These guys, their main job is going to be to destroy destroyers and uh, fight other light cruisers. And that's what we're designing these guys for. Uh, I, you notice I didn't get uh, the float planes uh, that we could have gotten here. Uh, float plane catapult. And the reason for that is I realized probably not going to want surface detection for the most part. Like we're, we're probably not going to really be looking for a fight uh, for a while. So these early cruisers, I don't think that they're going to need that. And we're probably going to have to fight uh, next to, let's go ahead and save these real quick. Uh, we're probably going to have to fight next to our islands and stuff. Like we're always going to be fighting next to our own lands. So it's like, we're going to be covering this zone, this zone, and like this zone, and maybe this one next to it. They might build a bomb a little bit uh, next to it. But for the most part, we're going to be sticking around our own islands and stuff uh, because, uh, and we also have an island here as well uh, that we could stick around, uh, you know, and that would help us when, once we have control of Portugal, or excuse me, of Brazil. I keep calling Brazil Portugal. I called them that last episode too, <laughs> but anyways, I already consider them part of Portugal. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to fight next to our own islands to make sure that we have uh, bomber support, uh, naval bomber support. So with that in mind, we're going to have the planes that are going to help us, that can help find enemies. We can put radar next to there that can help us find enemy ships. Uh, so if we're always next to our own land, then we don't really need the detection. In addition to the fact that many times we're probably not going to want to find the enemy because we're going to be too weak. Uh, so with that in mind, we probably don't even need to get this right now. But we already have it going. It's going to be done in 37 days, so really there's nothing to be done about it. We'll need it a little bit later in the game once we start getting a bigger navy. Uh, but for right now, we don't need it. Uh, but we do want to get the turreted secondary battery. Uh, so we're going to go and get that. Because uh, remember, the dual purpose secondary battery is awesome. So we'll get that going, and then we need to build those. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Get our new attack cruisers building. Put these babies up at the top, and then what we're going to want to do is just kind of pull from the stuff we're currently building. Probably get like a lot of these put into. We want to get the light cruisers done as soon as we can. So what I'm thinking is like. 
That should look good. I mean, we have a solid number of submarines, too. Uh, so we probably don't need as much going towards that. All right, so that looks, that looks good. That's how we'll make this look. Now, of course, that requires a absolute ton of steel. A lot of problems there. Also, we have less factories now. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, because we don't control all that territory that we had. Uh, so let me just take a look and see what we can pull from. Probably pull from port equipment and infantry equipment. Then we have that going into some of the other stuff. How's artillery doing? All right, we're doing all right in artillery as well. Uh, so let's go and pull from that, and that is it. All right, and we're really going to be focusing on getting the, the Air Force built up. All right, so we are short on steel. So we'll have to continue trading. I don't know how much we can actually get from them. Uh, yeah, we're only going to want to trade for that. Uh, we can still trade with the United States. We can also trade with China uh, now as well. Uh, so I guess we'll trade with them. And that doesn't... Uh, also, like France, doesn't require any convoys. Uh, so I think we need one factory worth. There we go. All right, so as far as like how many factories we have uh, building, we have 11 factories currently building. And that's even with us getting the intelligence agency going. So... It's not bad. Not too bad. Not as much as we had before, but it's all right, guys. All right, so these guys are not going to be able to reach there. Even You can see even they can't, so we'll keep them moving. Uh, but let's go ahead and stop them on their orders here. All right, so they'll go back home. And, yeah, we have exile divisions, but they'll be moving soon. And National Spain is even closer, man. A little bit surprised by that. Okay, uh, so frankly, we just need to get more troops out there. I don't think these count as deployed manpower, so once we deploy those, that'll help. Uh, but really, we just need more factories. And I, I know that, that military factories and civilian factories help with that, uh, but I don't know if the civilian factories do. I would think so. I would think the civilian factories apply. It's been really hard to keep them from seizing leadership of the faction, guys. Just because we're a little, little, little tiny Portugal. But if we can gain more territory, uh, then that would be one method of doing it. But I want the rubber here. That's the main reason why we're trying to get this. This is going to, it'll fix all of our rubber problems. Uh, so it'll be super helpful. Uh, and also, we could probably stop trading for oil. Maybe not completely stop trading. Maybe one factory worth of oil would be good. It's good enough, guys. Yeah, that's fine. We could also stop here, although we still need Navy experience, so having these guys continue uh, I think would be worth it. I was going to stop one of them, and I suppose we could. We could stop the, the submarines since we have more of those. Yeah, we'll stop the submarines. Might let them go back, and that should help with, with the fuel. Won't be using as much now. Might even be able to stop trading for it at all, you know. Uh, and then also we have the motorized moving, so that'll help too. And we'll make sure we don't have these planes back home doing anything. Uh, oh, these guys are exercising. So we go ahead and stop that. They've probably been ex exercising for a while. Let's get us gets us air experience. It's okay. All right, so we'll stop that. That'll help too. And maybe we can completely stop trading for oil. It looks like a yes. Oh, it's fine. We're okay for now. All right, so let's go and turn it back up to speed five. Let the game fly as we get ready to invade Siam and just hope that it doesn't fly in my face and it doesn't end up being bad. I'm uh, really hoping this doesn't go bad. Uh, so what do we want to get next? We currently have one, two, three, four. Uh, four of them. We also just recruited an operative, uh, so we got that done. Uh, if we get one more operative, or excuse me, one more of these done, then I think we'll be able to get another operative. Uh, we could go and form an apartment there. I kind of want to do the civilian economy one because then that will allow us to be easier to see what people are working for national focuses and i really want to see what the japanese are working on might not be able to though uh, we got our another operative so let's go ahead and get one hired we've got a lady here it's safe cracker and tough uh, so i think we're gonna hire her she's clearly the best option and he is the infiltrator so i think we're gonna have her go ahead and start working on brazil uh, and we're going to go ahead and have them do... That's not, None of these are the ones we want to do. Uh, we have to build the intel first before we can before we can do it here. I wonder how high it needs to be. Well, let's go and start with building the intel network here. And then we'll see if it, you know, how high it has to be for us to be able to do it. Uh, so we'll do it for a little while there, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. And then we should be getting another operative soon. And also... 
we have a civilian factory for you. I didn't see that. All right, so are we sitting at, yes. So we'll be getting the 15th dockyard, which will then allow us to uh, uh, go ahead and get that tech, the, uh, the new naval slot. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, probably another military factory. Go ahead and build it here again, try and save those spots for dockyards. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing next. Uh, people, somebody asked me why I'm not doing ahead of time a little bit more, because I'm kind of just being reactive based on what we need at the moment. The United Mexican States, the United Mexican States just joined the Allies. Okay, that's unfortunate. Allies are getting stronger. And also, we're having problems with the steel here. Okay. So we'll have to trade with China for more then. Luckily, we have other options available to us with trading now. And I thought the Italians had closed off trade with us. Maybe not. I know that the Germans did. Uh, but yeah, I thought the Italians had too. I yeah, didn't see Germany in here. Uh, but yeah, maybe the Italians haven't. Okay, I thought they had. We're still short on, on steel. Uh, so we're going to need to trade with probably the Americans. I don't think there's any other option here. Uh, other than the British. We could trade with the British too. We'll trade with the Americans. Not like one more civilian factory is going to help them. They've got so many of them. All right, so when do we get this? Let's take a, take a look, take a gander. We get it on the 7th of January, 1942. Uh, and then we also need to see exactly what Japan is doing. So let's go ahead and move this guy. And I know it's going to slowly tick down, but we're not even tra really trading that much with them. And I'm hoping that it ticks down slowly. Uh, let's go ahead and build the, ne the network in Tokyo. Uh, and then hopefully we can figure out what the hell Japan is working on. Because uh, as of right now, our in civilian intel is just far too low. We want to keep an eye on them. We only need to get it, the intel up to 25%, uh, which it is now at. So, can't see it though. Huh. And what is this? Oh, okay. That's right. Uh, and when was it again? I just looked at it and I already forgot. Uh, 7th of January. Okay, so we'll have it soon. I'm surprised we can't see their focus yet. With our intel... Oh, it's, it needs to be at 30%. My bad. Okay, so we just need to get that up to 30%. And then we can see what they're doing. Make sure we don't attack uh, while Japan is, is about to conquer them. Or, excuse me, about to bring them into the faction. And then we end up at war with uh, Japan. This is pretty risky, guys. This is really risky. Uh, let's get the fuel refining. So maybe we can trade for less fuel. Uh, what, so what that basically does is... Somebody had asked me about it. Uh, you can see that fuel gain per oil is plus 20%. You also get more fuel from factories. Uh, uh, refineries, excuse me, which we don't have any refineries right now. But the point is, any oil you have, whether you own it from you know the natural uh, oil in the region, or from refineries or oil that you're trading for, all of that grants more fuel. So it's just more efficient, your more efficient use of your your oil. Uh, so we already built that dockyard, which means we can get that research slot. Well, that's that's exciting. Uh, so we're gonna want to go ahead and start building up like radar and all that kind of good stuff. I've been trying to get more civilian factories. Uh, let's do one more so we can try and have two lines going. Uh, this will probably be the last civilian factory that we get here. And then we'll uh, focus on getting the coastal forts and uh, radar and maybe even some air bases if we need them. We're going to need to protect these islands, guys. Okay. Uh, so... Got about a month and a half before we can try the invasion here. And is this like ticking up at all? It hasn't ticked up yet. Okay. Now we got the improved airplane catapults. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and figure out what we want to get next. Uh, I don't know what we're at, what we're doing here. Uh, so 1942, we'll get the next research slot. We don't have any radar yet. We should probably get the radar. Yeah, I think we're probably going to get radar next, guys. Let me see if there's anything else, though, that we might want now. I don't think so. Well, we still need to get the improved artillery upgrade there. That'd be wise to get. But I think we'll go ahead and do radar first. Obviously, we haven't gotten any of the air doctrines or naval doctrines yet, so those are going to be necessary. Still need the new planes, too. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start with radar, guys. 99 days to, to get that. All right, so I don't know that we'll be able to uh, declare war on Siam in this episode. And I really hope that we'll be able to get our intel up on them. Uh, we're not getting intel from, I mean, you're getting a little bit, the intel network is very little though, 0.6%. What is our in intel network looking like over here? 
All right, United States, we did lose our trade influence with them. Uh, so that's a bummer. Also, lacking abilities to trade here. So what was it that we were trading with them? Steel, it looks like we are getting steel from them. All right, so we'll have to trade with the Italians. And good God, yeah, we, we have to keep somebody at all times. It's like we just have to have an advisor at all times working on uh, trying to keep you know, trade relations high with somebody. Which is a real shame, guys. It's a real bummer. Now, we could, of course, get higher trade relations with the French. Don't they have, like... No, they don't have rubber we can trade for. That's right. And the British don't have steel. So we can't trade. So I'm trying to, like, just have one country that we get high trade relations with. But there's really not an option for that. Because we have to trade with the British for the rubber that we need. So that's a bummer. And they don't have the steel. Shit. All right, guys. Um, well, we have her here now, so we could go ahead and start boosting the ideology if we want to do. Uh, but it looks like you can only boost your own ideology. Oh, you got to click it. Okay, I see. And then we can boost the support of fascism. Uh, yeah, so you can only boost your own ideology. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. So we're not able to boost the support for communism. And if we, yeah, if we boosted them into fascism. Damn it. All right, so that's not gonna work, guys. Now, we might still be able to do a coup. I don't know how this whole system works now, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into it, because before you'd have to do a coup with a, you know, based on ideology, and uh, obviously they're, they're not aligned, uh, but we'd need to like do a coup based on like communism or something like that, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this, guys, because I, I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, maybe the guy who uh, suggested it will, will comment and explain uh, exactly what we need to, how we need to do that there. Uh, so let's go and do control trade again to try and be able to trade with the Americans. And we'll see if we can't uh, get the resources we need from them with the steel. All right, there we go. Uh, so we only need, well, we only need one factory worth. And we got the economy civilian, so that is what we needed to get that civilian intelligence up faster in Japan uh, to have it higher. Uh, and I think, did that give us a new resource? A uh, new, no, maybe this doesn't count as one. Maybe you have to have the whole five of them, because we should have one, two, three, four, five. So that should give us another operative. But perhaps you have to actually like get all four of them for that to be considered one. That could definitely be how that works. Okay, so we want to get something else then. Uh, so let me see which one we want to get. Could go ahead and get one of these here. Uh, that would require us to get both of those. That We do want to get that though, that would be helpful to have. Uh, we can't form the department. Because apparently we don't have enough factories to do so huh okay uh, so yeah that's not an option uh, that's what I was gonna do next and that's not available all right well we'll do probably do one of these up here then you need uh, three operatives to do any blueprint stealing uh, could also do this so we're more likely to capture operatives I think we're just gonna do something up here uh, let's do the naval department and uh, we got our turreted secondary battery, so we're going to want to add that to our light cruisers. And see what we want to get next up here uh, for the 1940 tax. Now, we can start getting the battleships. I was waiting to get the research bonus for that, so we can get it a little bit quicker. Uh, see what other options we have. Oh, we could go and get the... Yeah, let's get this one, and then we'll add those instead of the other ones. Yeah, because those are the really good ones. We also want to get the landing craft. Uh, we won't have that time in time for the invasion, though, so... Because, uh, yeah, that's going to be soon. And I'm not going to wait for that. All right. So, yeah, we'll just get the uh, dual-purpose secondary battery, which means that we're only going to want to build one more of these cruisers here. Although, it does look like it's going to be a while before we get it done. It's going to be done until April. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make sure these guys are going here. Set up wherever the hell they want. And we're going to put the destroyers in here. And if this submarine that we put in there didn't finish training, he didn't. We'll pull, throw him into here as well, since this is like our training training uh, task force. All right. Uh, so the troops are, are here. They should be anyway. Uh, looks like some of them didn't finish going here. Do we have any other troops that are in their territory? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should be one more somewhere. Because we had ten red divisions. I don't know where he's at, though. Oh, he's right here. And 
They're not gonna let us cross there. Okay, that's the problem. Let's go ahead and go here. And then over to here. Alright, awesome. Okay, so we almost have those four divisions. Those are the marine divisions to do the invasion of Bangkok. Uh, we got the infrastructure. Uh, so we could, of course, go ahead and, and get the developed north uh, and Gobla to get the civilian factory and the steel. Uh, but of course, we want the... Oh, well, we don't have the dockyard yet. How long away until we have that? I thought we had it. I guess we... Huh. We have 15 naval dockyards. What do we not have? Oh, we need more than 15. God damn it. <laughs> That's great. So we got to build another dockyard. Uh, so let's get this instead then. Uh, give us another civilian factory for building a dockyard. Uh, let's go ahead and start building the dockyard next. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it... Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm building a naval base. <laughs> so let's get the dockyard gone. All right, we're going to go and put this uh, underneath the, the factory that's almost done. Speaking of factories, we actually have a, a military factory to get assigned. Uh, and we just take a look and see what we're lacking the most on. Still need a, a bit of motorized. Uh, but I think... I think that's it. Other than that, we're doing pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that requires us to get more rubber, which we don't have. In fact, we don't, we need more rubber now. All right, uh, we won't trade for the steel. It's only really affecting the convoys. Looks like, yep, we gotta keep it going at all times. <laughs> that sucks, man. <laughs> and you can't, uh, we gotta find a, a country, maybe Japan? No, Japan probably closed off their trade. Uh, we can't trade with them. I would assume that's what they did here. No, they have limited exports. Uh, they have rubber that they're producing. I wonder if we could get our relation, you know, our uh, trade high enough with them to be able to trade for their rubber. Uh, so, producing rubber, but our trade influence is too low. So, we could get rubber from them. Can we get steel from them? We can just a little bit, though. Uh, also, yeah, we're not getting enough steel from the Italians. I'm just trying to find a country that we can get steel and rubber from, so I, d I can keep my my spy here. You know, whichever one's doing it right now. Uh, he is okay. He's already here. But yeah, if we could just put her over here and have her do the uh, control trade here, and let's see how that looks. We still okay. They just finished the national focus, so we can't see what they uh, are working on just yet. And they're doing the alliance with Siam. <laughs> Damn it! All right, guys. So no, 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 no. All right, so I'm glad that we did that because we would have declared war and then they would have joined the Japanese faction. So that's not an option, guys. I was hoping we'd be able to do it before they did it, uh, before they did Alliance, but it, just, it didn't work. Uh, so that means there's no, really no reason for us to be here any longer. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Send our troops back home. They should all start moving their butts over here. All right, so yeah, we'll just leave the territory here. Well, I'm glad that we, we did that. Uh, that is very good that we did that, uh, which means I can also move. We now know what he's doing, so we can move him. Uh, there's no reason to have him here doing that any longer. Uh, instead, we'll go ahead and, and uh, I guess we'll go to Brazil, start building up the Intel network here. Um, but man, I, I would really like to. I'd really like to boost the ideology there, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. And we made him fascist. See, this is what I'm worried about. So you make him fascist. Well, maybe we could have them join our faction. That's not quite the same as getting control of them, which would be preferable. But that would be an option as well, just having them in the faction. So we could do that. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is if we did the coup here against Brazil and turned them into fascist, uh, then we could help the fascists win and uh, then they would maybe join our faction. But again, they could also end up joining the Axis, which is probably more than likely. And, and the thing I'm worried about is if we do the fascist coup here, so let's just build the Intel network for right now. But so if we do the fascist coup here, uh, then and then we attack, uh, and so then we help the the fascists win, and then we try and attack the fascists who would no longer have, who wouldn't have the guarantee by the United States, and so we don't have to worry about the U.S. joining. I'm just worried that the fascists would then join the Axis, and now we're at war with the Axis, uh, which is not what I want to see. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to go about this, guys. I'd love to hear you guys' comments on this. Um, uh, how the best way to, to deal with Brazil would be. Overall, it seems kind of like, like a sticky situation. I almost feel like we might not be able to avoid conflict with the Americans. I think maybe just an outright invasion of Brazil might be the best way to do it. Uh, we could invade from Cape Verde and then possibly get the invasion done 
right here at this port of Rio Grande, uh, get the invasion done before the Americans are able to stop us. And once we're on there, at least, you know, they could still do invasions and cause us all kinds of issues, but we'll be here and we'll be able to get the uh, Brazilians defeated. Uh, so we have the decision uh, to modify our government, and I feel like we have to get the aircraft designer now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. There's a lot of other options as well, but it's been a long time since we've been able to get something here. So let's get the aircraft designer. Our stability is currently at 51%. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get that a bit higher before we go to war again, guys. Um, we also need to delete this invasion. I will just go and right click to delete it. I'm so glad that I uh, found out what they were doing, man, because that would have been disastrous. Japan would have conquered our territory over there. And it would have been bad. Very bad. Uh, so in our occupied territories, we're getting the... You can see we're requiring a lot less troops now. Uh, you're, we're ticking down... Uh, the resistance is going lower, compliance is going up, and uh, it's just going to get easier to manage it. Overall, we need already don't need that many troops in most of our territories, uh, so things are going well in that regard. Uh, we've got the military factory done. Could always use it to upgrade our military factories, uh, and I think we'll go ahead and build a division too. Uh, we can't get any more marines right now. Could go ahead and get another garrison one, but let's get more infantry, guys. Uh, so we'll get another infantry division, and we'll see how that looks on our resources. I mean, yeah, really, we're just not not really doing bad on resources at this moment. Uh, so I think we just focus on getting the uh, our planes built up, our plane numbers. Good God, though. Yeah, I forgot about the, the rubber problems. Uh, can we trade with Japan yet? They can, but we don't have, can't trade for much. All right. Uh, what about the steel? Looks like China isn't giving us quite as much steel as they're supposed to. Yeah, we might just have to keep rotating them out, guys. Uh, the the control trade guy. Because uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get enough trade from the Japanese. We might not be able to. Like, I'm trying to trying to get more from them. We have to get the, our trade influence up higher with them. Oh, we can trade with the, the British still. There we go. Wait a minute. It's available now. All right, we got it up high enough to give them one factory worth. So maybe, yeah, perhaps, perhaps we can get the steel and the rubber that we need from the Japanese. That would be really nice. If we just keep our and just keep our spy there at all times, so that we're always having high trade influence with them. Uh, what, what the hell? Are we already having trouble with the Japanese? Yeah, we're already having trouble. Uh, what the hell? We had trade with them for a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe this isn't going to go how I want it to go. We'll see. I just don't want to have to keep rotating between the British and the, and the Americans. And, of course, that's not a long-term solution because once we go to war with the Americans or, or with the Allies, uh, we won't put a trade with them anymore. Uh, so we got the Naval Department. Uh, so that is going to allow us to get another operative. And we're already ready on the recruiting of that. Excellent. Uh, so we can now form the department here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, that would be really helpful for our invasions. And we have a couple different options here. Uh, so we've got uh, Dos Santos here. He's a safe cracker and a seducer. Uh, and of course, we have the tough recruit here. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Dos Santos. I love the hat and the monocle. <laughs> it's great. Uh, so he is here now. Could, of course, do an invasion of Iran as well. Uh, I, you know, as I mentioned, it would be a, a tougher invasion. It'd be rough. Could have made these territories too, but I don't know that they're worth it. Probably not. Uh, Iran might be worth it though. So we could invade Iran. I don't know how many troops they have. Uh, 4 to 18. Again, the terrain is, is, is difficult there though, guys. We're going to take casualties if we invade them. We could also just invade, straight up invade Iraq. They're a little bit easier, probably. Yeah, they don't have anywhere near as many divisions. We could invade Iraq instead. Attempt to do an invasion there. That would be really far away uh, from here that we'd have to do the invasion from. But we could technically do it. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll go ahead and justify war against them. Uh, and then we'll attack the Iraqis. Uh, they probably wouldn't join a faction, hopefully. I don't think so. I think we should be all right. So yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and invade Iraq, guys. And that'll also give us a base when, once we're at war with the Allies, if there's still Allied territory here to invade Syria. But this looks like it's already going to be conquered. So yeah, we could try to go after Iraq just to build up our... You know, industrial and manpower base wherever we can, 
um, without having to go to war with any any factions. I suppose we'll do that. And where are our troops? Are they? They're going through here, so they're not that. They're still pretty far away. So we could go ahead and send them over here. Uh, I doubt we'd have the supply here, though. We'd probably have some supply issues. Uh, so that's something to consider. If I send them over here, I think they're going to soak up all the damn supply and cause us the issues. So what we could do is go ahead and start building up the naval base here. Yeah, I'm build up the naval base here by one, and that might be enough. I suppose we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll set this up, guys. We'll probably bring a couple troops home, a couple divisions home. Uh, since we don't, unless we get the naval invasion tech. But we also have to consider, and this is what we'll do. We'll send these guys here for now, because I think it's probably closer. Maybe not. So we'll go ahead and let those guys go home. And then take the rest of these and send them. We are going to send the uh, motorized for the speed. Send them on over here. Let's set up the naval invasion here. Have them invade Iraq. And then, uh, hopefully we don't have supply issues. And then what we're going to want to do is go ahead and justify war goal. And that would do 80 days and 16 political power. And then we'd have three months. So let's go ahead and send it. All right, so we're going to try and do the invasion, guys. We'll see how it works. I'm just trying to find uh, you know countries that we don't have to worry about. And, of course, we do have the, the problems again. So uh, the damn resources are just going to continue to be a problem, guys. Shit. All right, did we ever assign our spy to do anything? We did not. Uh, could have him go after Iraq now, uh, which I guess we should have, you know, whoever I think he is here. If we're going to go after Iraq, we'll have him do build intel network here. Just changing these around a lot more than I should be, honestly. And then we're going to have to do the, the control trade here, man. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to be able to get what we need from Japan. So we're going to have to do it. This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to have two simultaneous ones going right now, uh, which is a real, real shame. Well, yeah, they can they can stay here, trade with the Japanese, and go ahead and get this trade going here. And we might have to actually give them... Um, you know, the third factory, even though it's not worth it. Uh, and hopefully we can get more trade from them uh, on the rubber now that we're building up trade again. Bulgaria just joined the Axis. All right, so hopefully we should get more trade from the, the British. Here we go. I already got it. Uh, and we'll try and trade a little bit more with them. And, yeah, a lot more available now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, the Japanese. Like, they, they get a little bit of resources, and then they, they don't. I'm not going to switch over just yet, because they seem to, seem to be... I don't know, I can't tell what the hell they're doing. All right, so yeah, we're going to try and do an invasion of Iraq here in, next, in the next episode. Uh, we'll see how these guys are, are doing here with their supply. We'll see how that looks. Uh, more than likely, it is going to be too short, uh, the supply here. And we could also build up the infrastructure as well. I think the port's going to be the main limiting factor, though. Uh, let's take a look and see how much longer until we get this dockyard done. Uh, 21st of January. Uh, so that'll be here in mere days. And that is, in fact, going to be the end of the episode as well. So we'll get the dockyard going. Uh, and then we're getting the port built. we get that done in the 16th of February. Might have to do infrastructure as well. Hopefully we don't face too much attrition just sitting there. Uh, so we need to, with our next uh, slot here, uh, and this, of course, is going to give us more steel. So this is going to be helpful. And another civilian factory. We can get a little bit of rubber from here as well. And some oil. So, yeah, we get some good stuff going down this line. That's going to help us. Uh, but next, we're going to be going after the Naval Research Institute. As soon as we get this done, 29 days left. And that'll be next episode. Uh, as far as our trade issues, again, Japan doesn't seem to know what the hell's going on here. Uh, so, that's an issue. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps on flip, flipping back and forth, guys. So we we'll have to trade with the Romanians for right now, and that's not even going to be enough steel. This is just, uh, it's just an issue, guys. Huh? Yeah, I feel like it's just no point at trading with the Japanese, man. Uh, let me just take a look here. I mean, we have the the twenty five here, but yeah, we're just not getting anything. They don't even have anything to deliver for us. They just don't have anything left to export. 
Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on in Japan. It's just flip-flopping back and forth and just kind of uh, irritating. Uh, if we went to the civilian, let me just see where they're They're at closed economy. Okay, so no point on uh, keeping our guy there. I thought that'd be the issue. The fascists always do that. They always seem to uh, uh, to close off their economy. Germany's already done that. So when you're a fascist, it makes it very difficult to find people to trade with. Uh, so we're going to have to do the control trade in America, and we'll just have to have one in America and one in the UK. Uh, but again, that's not a long-term solution, guys. Uh, and then we'll hopefully have enough trade to or enough trade influence with the Americans to, to trade for their, their steel here soon. Uh, but yeah, that's not a long-term solution, of course, because uh, once we're at war, the Allies won't be able to trade with them anymore. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode. And uh, you can see that uh, the Japanese are conquering all the Dutch East Indies, so all that's going to be under control soon. Uh, so that's going to hurt the Allies quite a bit. They're not going to have all that, all that rubber that they get from here. Also a little bit of oil, but the rubber is the main thing that they get. And I expect that they'll soon have severe rubber troubles because they're not going to have uh, any of this territory here, which means we won't be able to trade with the British for rubber anymore. And we'll have to find a new source of rubber. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys on that next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.